Hello and welcome to this preview of CCL Academy's Introduction to FCA Regulation course. My name is Nigel Sydenham. I'm part of the training faculty here at CCL. Our Introduction to FCA Regulation course is designed for anyone who needs an overview of the FCA regulatory regime. Whether they're a new starter, taking on a new role, or simply need a refresher on some of the basics. And for me, the course is about far more than simply introducing people to some of the main rules that firms are subject to. Primarily, it's about helping the attendees to understand where they and their firm fit within the FCA's regulatory framework. Hopefully, in the next few minutes, we can il illustrate how we do that on one of our courses. And we start just by looking at a simple statement. The regulatory framework in the UK means that financial services firms are supervised by two separate regulators, not one. And so a simple question, is that statement true or is it false? Well, that question generates typically quite a lot of discussion on one of our courses as people try to remember what they've heard before about how their firm is regulated uh, and try to fit that together. But as you may know, the answer to that question is simply, it's true for some firms. And so let's take a moment just to consider why that's the case. We'll start by thinking about a particular group of firms. We sometimes call them systemically important firms. In other words, firms which, if they were to become insolvent, may have a knock-on effect, a ripple effect, on other parts of the financial services system. And these are banks, insurance companies, uh, and some very large and complex investment firms. Around about 1,500 firms in total. These firms are regulated by the PRA, the Prudential Regulation Authority, part of the Bank of England. And its regulation focuses on prudential issues. When we use the word prudential there, we simply mean their financial safety and soundness. So the PRA is concerned with putting in place measures to hopefully ensure that firms uh, do not go bust, or certainly to reduce the risk of that happening. But of course, it's not only the financial safety and soundness of those firms that we're concerned with. We're also concerned with how they act on a day-to-day -day basis, what we might call their conduct. And so those firms are also regulated by the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. The FCA supervises how they act on a day-to-day -day basis, how they interact with their clients and the market. But in addition to those firms, of course, we have many other regulated firms, a total of around 57,000 firms in the UK. And these are all other regulated firms, so fund managers, advisors, exchanges, brokerages. These firms are regulated by the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. But the FCA is concerned not only with their conduct, but also for about a third of those firms, around 18,000, it is also responsible for their financial safety and soundness. On the remainder of the course, we go on to explore the implications of that distinction and also some of the primary obligations that firms and individuals working within those firms uh, are subject to. I hope that simple introduction, that preview of our course has been helpful. If you do have any questions or would like to know anything more about our courses, please do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.